I've had a pretty bad case of the flu this week, but I was still able to sneak in a couple of quick sessions on the weekend. First up, I thought I'd go to my local yacht club to demonstrate a quick tip when it comes to finding fish land-based. Whilst there are obviously many exceptions, I've found that the best way to find fish in the river is to fish structure that isn't often fished. By this I mean places that other fishermen would rarely think to cast, like under the jetty you're standing on, rather than away from it. Fish just aren't used to it, which is a big factor in a pressured system like the Swan River. On this occasion, I let the current take my lightly weighted soft plastic under a jetty, in between some boats that are usually inaccessible to anglers. The fish wasn't huge, but if I hadn't used this line of thinking, I don't think I would have caught anything. After a couple cold and flu tablets and a shower, I went out later to Canning Bridge. The choice of spot obviously goes against what I was saying earlier, but it's more of a guideline of where to start rather than a steadfast rule. In a haze, I forgot my GoPro at home, so I had to fashion a rinky-dink setup with an old camera, but it worked fine. Within a few minutes, I hooked up to what I thought was a mullet because it leapt right out of the water. To my surprise, it turned out to be a big whiting, all tangled up in line. I've caught a few yellowfin whiting in the Swan River recently. I caught one at a yacht club that went about 35. but this one topped out at 33 centimetres. I caught it on the old faithful Z-Man Slim Swim in Blood One. After a bit of persuading, he swam off okay. Worst case scenario, he's an easy dinner for the bridge's resident Mulloway. Given the circumstances, it wasn't a bad couple of sessions. After all, it's hard to feel under the weather whilst you're hooked up to a fish. For more Swan River and Perth fishing videos, don't forget to subscribe.